Hi all, my name is Vishnu Dutt and in this video we will continue our discussion on SDX's control plane. As we know, SDX uses LISP or Location Identity Separation Protocol as a control plane mechanism. Hence, we need to understand LISP first. Once again, I don't want to throw a lot of new terms on you guys. So let's understand LISP on a very high level first and then we go somewhat deep. On a broad level, LISP separates location of a device with its identity by maintaining a database. I know my last statement doesn't make sense until we understand what this identity and location is. Let's understand the concept with an example. Okay. Yep. Consider this diagram, this one. Do not bother about this table for now. Suppose we have these three networks. Let's consider this one is network number one having IP subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 24. This network number two, which is represented with 10.1.1.0 slash 24. And network number three, which is 172.16.1.0 slash 24, right? Let's consider these three network are geographically apart, which means that the first network is at location A or lock A, second is at location B or lock B, and third network is at location C represented by lock C. Now let's assume I have connected a laptop in network number one. Here is the laptop, okay? Let's give it a host name as host A and IP address as 192.168.1.10. Okay, guys, one thing to note here is that the IP address, this one here, okay, represent both identity and location of the host or host A. For example, by seeing this IP address, you can easily know that this host belongs to network number one, this one, right, which can be uniquely identifiable with this IP address. Correct, friends? And of course, this IP address is in location A. Hence, IP address 192.168.1.10 specifies both identity and location of the host. Now suppose I want to move this host from network number one to network number three. I need to change the IP address which should be inside 172.16.1.0 slash 24 range. So I will remove this cable from here and move this host to here and assign IP address value as 172.16.1.10. The important thing is, if I change location of the host, I need to change the IP address also. Hence, identity and location of the host is tied to a IP address, and this IP address represents both location and the identity. This is simple IP routing, correct? But is there any method or technique through which I can move this host from here to here without changing its IP address? Or in other words, can we separate location of the device from its identity? This seems quite difficult, right? But if we can manage to do this, what is the use case or application of doing this? As I mentioned in previous videos also, if you want to understand a new concept, first learn about what is the need of the new concept. As name indicates, LISP protocol is built to separate location of a device with its identity. And we need to understand why we want to separate location of a device from its identity. So one of the use case is mobility, correct? Let's understand this with an analogy of how mobile network works. Consider the below diagram, which shows three mobile tower and a mobile phone. You all know that our mobile number doesn't change when we switch between different tower or locations, correct? Suppose my mobile number is XXX and I'm currently registered with mobile tower in location number one, this location, okay? Now suppose I move from location number one to location number three, my mobile number still be same, which is XXX, but yes, my location will be changed, correct? It would have been very difficult if I need to change my mobile number with locations, right? Mobility is difficult if I change my identity or mobile number with location. Can you guess guys, how does this system works? The system works because there is a central system which keeps an eye on a location 
of the mobile number and update this information in a database correct this is oversimplified example but let's try to figure out the content of this database believe me guys this analogy is very important in understanding lisp and control plane of sd access so here is our database this one okay this database is having two columns endpoint id which is the mobile number of this mobile device this one right which is xxx and remote locator which is the current location or location number one let's fill this table eid value is xxx correct and location value will be lock one okay suppose in a mobility event this mobile device moves to location number three and register itself with this tower this one our database needs to be updated correct so the new content of the database will be endpoint id or mobile number value will be same xxx but the remote location will be location number three correct this is simple of course there is some mechanism through which this old entry this one should be flushed out from the set from the database now let's go back to our previous example and question can we move this host or this laptop from one network to another network without changing its ip address or in other words can we separate identity with location the answer is yes and it is achieved through lisp or location identity separation protocol let's understand this to separate location with identity we should have at least two variables or two ip address space remember on our analogy with mobile network system there we had endpoint id and location right in lisp we have two ip address space first one is endpoint id which is the ip address of the host and the other one is remote location address space now this table this one starts making sense right guys let's try to fill this table in case of a mobility event suppose i configure these router with or this router with an ip address of 10.1.1.1 and this router with an ip address of 10.1.1.2 the ip address of my laptop is 192.168.1.10 let's fill the table when this host was here at this location this one the endpoint id will be 192.168.1.10 and its remote location will be 10.1.1.1 right so what is the meaning of this entry this entry means my host this one is located behind router 10.1.1.1 correct now let's move this host from this network to this network one important thing is i am not changing the ip address of this host now let's see what are the changes in database endpoint id will remain the same or 192.168.1.10 and we need to change only remote location which will be 10.1.1.2 this means now the host is behind 10.1.1.2 so here the ip address of the router tell me the actual location of the host correct one of the important characteristic of this characteristic of this database is that it can be queried right suppose there is another host let's say host c which is connected here okay here and this host needs to communicate to this host which has moved from its original location what this host can do is it can simply query the database for the location of host a this database will reply that the host a or 192.168.1.10 can be reachable via 10.1.1.2 this means you need to first send the packet to 10.1.1.2 and it will eventually forward your packets to this host this one correct guys with the help of two different address spaces and maintaining a dynamic database we can easily achieve mobility this is what exactly lisp does it creates a database of endpoint id with its current location this database can be queried by different hosts taking part in the lisp it may look a lot of new information to you and if you don't get the concept i would recommend to take a pause and again watch this video this concept is really important to understand the sd access control plane 
because in SDXs we are able to move hosts between various sites without changing its IP address and also we don't have to stretch the VLANs across various buildings. If you don't get my last statement, do not worry about it as I will explain all this in upcoming videos. If you find anything which doesn't make sense, please do write in comment section and I will definitely respond. In next video, we will be discussing about how control plane is built in SDXs. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you in next one.